This is a blank Google slide without any technical knowledge or using any plugin or add-ons. I will go and click on generate presentation and boom, it will create a list of 10 slides, including the title as an actionable item with three supporting points for each of them. And if you are a fan of Microsoft PowerPoint instead of Google Slide, I will tell you how you can use the Copilot to just write this prompt and boom, it will create 10 slides for you with also the relative images and uh, you can basically play around with it and uh, give you a head start for the design of your presentation. And what if you are a PowerPoint fan, but you don't want to use Copilot, I will tell you how you can use again ChatGPT to generate a code, automatically generate all the slides for you in PowerPoint. In this video, I will cover how to use ChatGPT to generate an outline of our presentation using the SCQA, Situation, Complication, Question and Answer Framework, which is used by a wide range of big companies. After that, I will talk how to automate the process of creating the presentation from the text that are generated from ChatGPT. I will talk about two presentation slides in both Google Slide and PowerPoint presentation. Make sure to stick by the end of the video as I'm going to share a very nice uh, layout that you can use in order to apply to your presentation. Let's dive into it. Hey guys, welcome to AI Fun Fact for All YouTube channel, where we talk about AI and machine learning concepts and how to use them in our everyday life in a way that is simplified for everyone. For those of you who are new to this channel, my name is Pedram Agan, a PhD student in computer science with an extensive knowledge in AI and machine learning. For those of you who want to connect, I put my LinkedIn URL in here. First, let's see how we can create professional presentation in Google Slide with ChatGPT. We will go over the prompt together. Feel free to pause the video to see the prompts, or better, I will put the link of all of the prompts in this video in the description, so make sure you check it out. For the sake of illustration, let's consider a scenario when we want to create a presentation about dollar cost averaging and how is that going to be useful in the long term for someone with low or no experience in investment. For that, we first need to go to ChatGPT and write you are an expert in professional presentation. You consume the knowledge of senior business analysis. Consider this for the rest of conversation. I'm preparing a presentation on how to use dollar cost averaging in the most effective way for investment of people with less market knowledge. Your task is to generate a structure outline for 10 slide presentation with the using situation, complication, question and answer or SCQA framework used by top um, the consulting firm. Each slide's title should be a specific, action-oriented, and highlight compelling ideas. Each slide should include three details and supporting slide titles in the bullet point format. The goal is to convince the audience at beginner investment to consider dollar cost averaging. So the situation is functions as a starting point and common basis. Therefore, its primary contains recognizable and agreed points. Complication spells the, the reason for acting in now. It concerns threats, opportunities, and hurdles uh, that we need to overcome. The question is, ask the question how these hurdles and the complication can be overcome, how we can prevent the threats and seize the opportunity. And the answer is to provide the answer on how to overcome these hurdles and explain how this will help to deflect the threats or seize the opportunity. 
So the most important part of the prompt is this part where we are going to tell it that first ask me five questions that will improve the response that you will be giving me. And wait for my response before you continue. So this will help the ChatGPT to use the uh, wait and um, the time for it to basically understand the question better and also uh, give time to think for the LLM. It gives us five different questions, technical familiarities, duration, key objective, visual and uh, data uh, preference. Very good and unique questions and I'm going to answer them based on what I prefer my uh, style of the presentation is going to be like. And there you go. It is creating uh, 10 different uh, slides for me, which each of them has an actionable item with the three key points details to discuss how uh, we need to pay attention to this. Now, the first task, which is uh, creating an outline of the presentation, is complete. But please pay attention that uh, this is a draft and we definitely need to take a, a second look at it and try to make it more complete and provide more reasoning. I will talk about that shortly. But then the second task that we have is to automate the process of the full presentation. We don't want to have just text and we want to create a, a full presentation. So we are going to use this prompt. Now your task is to write a Google app script that allows me to click a custom menu button from within the uh, Google slide presentation to generate these slides automatically. Uh, populate the slide using a, a slide title and supporting bullet points above. There's no need to include placeholders. Make sure that all of the text strings are defined as variables at the beginning of the code in a JSON-like format and remove all of the comments and uh, confirm all of the function that you use in the code are real function and applicable for the Google slide. And then you hit enter and boom, it is generating this JavaScript code for us that we can use inside the um, uh, Google slide to populate all of the presentation with just one click. After we copy the code from ChatGPT, we need to create a new Google slide. For that, we are going to type a slide.new and then hit enter. We we'll then uh, go to the type ribbon extension and then app script. Then we are going to uh, delete this uh, function here and paste the code that we have uh, in here again. And then we're going to hit run. If this is the first time that you are running the code, the Google is going to ask you for authorized requirement. So uh, it is always suggested that you should not trust random people from internet and try to use different plugins and then grant access from your Google. But come on, this is Pedram that is telling you. You can definitely trust Pedram. And then someday you're going to come back and see all of the files in your Google account. Yeah, but joking aside, um, you can uh, trust this and uh, just put the review permission and then uh, it will ask you to connect and then uh, click on advance and then uh, use uh, proceed and then allow access. So you hit the run and you see the execution is started, but then you see a typer. What should you do now? So I'm going to tell you that if a scenario you will get into this situation, what you need to do. So you will use uh, this prompt. First, then you need to copy the error that you receive and then come back to the uh, chat GPT and write, I ran into the following error after executing the script. So your task is to fix this error and share a revised script with the necessary correction. Do not include uh, presets and placeholders. Take your time and get this right. Uh, uh, think uh, through this uh, step by step. And after that, you're going to basically paste your uh, error. After ChatGPT uh, create the revised uh, JavaScript for you, you will copy it and then go back to your app script and then replace that, save it, 
run it again and hopefully this one the completion is complete and then when you come back to your slide you will see that on your presentation tools you can actually generate the presentation you might see that all of the slides are very basic there is not much about the visualization and the fonts are not very nice so i'm going to provide you a theme and i put the link in the description that you can basically import in here and make your slides a lot nicer so for that you will go to the slide and then change the theme and then go to the import theme after you have the slides that i give you and make a copy of that you will see this in your ne uh, recent uh, presentation file you're gonna choose that you can also come into individual slides and then right click and then choose a layout and uh, choose the different layouts uh, from the uh, templates that are given uh, to provide you uh, access to the placeholder of the image or any chart that you want to add in addition we mentioned that we need to come back again to this slide and take a look at them and try to revise them uh, and provide more reasoning and data for them for this example i'm going to talk about this slide specifically which is saying that data showing the high risk and low success rate of uh, timing the market so i'm going to copy uh, this uh, document and then go back to uh, perplexity.ai which is very useful tool that can provide you very relevant uh, information and completely for free and uh, it provides you very good references that you can use and i'm going to say something as easy as find evidence for and then i'm going to paste this specific topic and then hit enter and it will provide me with different sources from investopedia for example seeking alpha and many other reliable sources on the second part of this video i'm going to talk about the fact that not all of us are a fan of google slide so what if someone wants to get information about powerpoint and automate this process inside the powerpoint there are are two ways that this can be done one with ChatGPT and another with copilot first let's see how we can do this with ChatGPT. so what we need to do is that um the basic all of the prompts that we had is exactly the same except for the second prompt that we mentioned that we want to create it for google slide now we need to change that into uh, generate a, a vba code for microsoft powerpoint uh, for the 10 slides in order to access this vba inside windows you need to open up the powerpoint app and then go into the file options and then changing the top ribbon you are going to add the developer and then when you um, save it you're going to see that inside your ribbon you will have a new option for developer if you are a mac user you will need to open up the powerpoint and then go to the tools macro and then visual basic editor and it will open up the window for you then you go to uh, the modules on the left side and then try to right click and create a new module it will open up a second window uh, for you and then after that you are going to paste the, the code that you copied from chat gpt since we are using powerpoint we have access to the designer so we can definitely go to the designer and basically create a um, different uh, styles uh, and then generate um, nice figures and a style like that and the last but not least method is if you want to use the copilot instead of the uh, chat gpt to actually generate the presentation for you the copilot has an extension uh, specifically for all of the office which is called copilot pro although it's not free but it comes with one month free trial one thing that you need to pay attention is that this copilot pro is only available for family or the personal account so if you are having your uh, office inside your organization including the work or a school you won't be able to use that with those emails so you need to create your own microsoft account uh, for free and then uh, basically try to use it in your personal or your uh, family account so for that i'm going to start using the uh, free trial after that it's going to ask me to log in there is no other service needed we don't need to have the 
office um, a basically account um, so we can just use the office in the cloud uh, so the only cost that we have is a $20 USD account per month after we create our one month free trial of copilot pro we then go to the office.com then choose the PowerPoint and uh, create a new blank slide and if we come in here we see that there is a ribbon for copilot we're gonna click on that and we are going to say that write a presentation uh, about for example we can just as simply as say that uh, a dollar cost averaging or we can be more precise by copying the same prompt that we used before and then maybe it's enter we're gonna wait a little and then we're gonna see that boom we have all of the presentation and also we have associated uh, uh, figures with them so it creates uh, all of the uh, different the slides including the conclusion thank you everyone for watching until the end of the video let me know in the comments below which of the topics do you want more explanation on and if there is any topic that you want me to talk about in the next video if you want more explanation on how to use copilot pro in other office app such as word excel or outlook make sure to watch this video that i created before i also talk about what we can do if you have an organization with with the co-pilot make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification so you get notified when there is a new video so take care until the next video